What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel, or if you're first time here, welcome to the channel, my name is Steve-O. Today I'll be doing a gift guide for men video. If you guys have boyfriends, sons, cousins, anything like that, this will be a great video for you to watch. I've seen a lot of videos on TikTok and YouTube, and I just don't think that, I don't know, the gifts that they present on those videos are not the best in my opinion. Like, I'm not gonna stand there and hate, I'm just gonna create my own video and show you guys some of the good gifts in my opinion. In my opinion, I think the best gifts or like the key factors in getting a good gift is longevity and usage like does the person use the gift every day or how much does the person use the gift and how long will the gift last i saw some videos like oh candles are nice gifts yeah they're nice additions to a gift but i don't really don't think they should be the main gift you know because like how long can they use that 12 hours max 12 hours of total usage max so i'm going to be breaking this guy down into a few categories i'm going to do tech fashion hobbies and personal care i really do think any of these gifts and these um, categories you can't go wrong with maybe hobbies because let's say the person likes reading right i wouldn't give them a keyboard if they likes reading i want to make this a short video today and just breeze through it all and if you guys like this video or you want more ideas from me let me know in the comments down below and i'll make a second video let's get started so the first category is tech in tech i think every dude i don't know a dude in my mind that i met across that doesn't like music like music is the backbone of everything we do like working out driving basically everything we do with music and with that being said the first gift i recommend is a good pair of speakers i recommend portable speakers unless that you're unless the person you're buying a gift for has a house or anything like that then you can get my home speaker system but for portable speakers i think marshall speakers are really hard to beat really classy really elegant it's really a style in general and they have great sound quality. You can, if you want to be more on the affordable side, you can go with the JBL speakers. But in my opinion, Marshall's longevity is much better than JBL's. It's like, the longer you have it, the better it looks. Uh, next up, I have headphones. Um, so for headphones, I recommend, um, if you can find the Beats Studio Pro for under around 200, get those. If not, get the Sony WH-N5s. I think, not just my opinion, everyone else in the headphone circle right they think the sony wh m5 is one of the best gifts and yeah just get them a good traveling headphones whether they're traveling they're studying they it will come in handy because everyone oh i almost think everyone right now the reason i say headphones is a gift and not airpods almost everyone that i've seen has airpods but they don't have a good piece of on on ear or over the ear pair of headphones so i think it'll be a really good complementary to the speakers as far as our love for music goes Next item is an Apple Watch or any fitness tracker. I, I say an Apple Watch because 80% of us have iPhones, right? But if not, you guys can get a Fitbit or whatnot. But prior to me getting an actual traditional watch, I wear an Apple Watch every single day for notifications and tracking my steps, calories. I think it's one of the most useful gifts, especially if you want the person you care about to stay in shape all the time. So get them an Apple Watch. You can find them around under 300 if you like look hard enough if you look hard enough because i know for prime day there are there you can get them for around 280 but usually yeah they're around the, the 300 price mark next category up is fashion i think this is one of the best categories to give them a gift in because this will last the longest so we have watches chain cologne and sunglasses so for watches i recommend a traditional watch right every man i think should own a traditional timepiece and my brand recommendation for this is Seiko. You can't go wrong with any of the Seiko watches. It has the, one of the longest history of watchmaking. And it's just so diverse. You can find a Seiko for $50 to a Seiko for $1,000. And then you get up to the Grand Seiko territory. What's like the Rolex's 10000 price range. We're not going to talk about that. But I'll just recommend this Seiko dive watch from Macy's. You can get it for $250. It's a really good gift son or boyfriend will probably keep it for especially if it's his first watch he'll keep it for whoever knows how long next gift is a good chain and for this i recommend the brand jackson i think that's how you pronounce it i got my first chain there um they have a really good warranty policy where if it rusts or breaks you can send it back to them i'm not sure if they still have that you got to check on that but when i bought mine like a year or two ago they had that policy my chain snapped i messaged them they're like, yeah, just send it back to us, send it back to them and send me a new chain. Every dude when I was in college, they had a chain or every dude in the gym, even I go to the gym, they have a chain on, right? But some of those chains, I'm like, I'm not sure where you got those chains, but it's like, it looks cheap. But these chains actually look premium. 
Um, I recommend getting a Cuban link chain or a rope chain. Next up are sunglasses. I don't know a dude in my life that doesn't enjoy wearing sunglasses. It just makes your overall face look symmetrical, looks you look makes you look handsome, you know. So every dude, I think you should get them sunglasses, especially if they don't have a good pair. Um, the brand I recommend is Ray Bans, and in Ray Bans, I recommend just getting the Wayfarer, Clubmaster, or, or Aviator. Those are like the three most popular ones. Next up, cologne. I think cologne is one of the most underrated gifts. It's like, it's not a, it's a nice gesture gift. I think a cologne is a nice gesture gift, especially if you know what you're getting. Um, I'm not going to dig into the niche colognes. I have like 10 colognes. I'm not going to go into the niche categories of colognes. I'm just going to give you guys mass appeal or colognes because I don't know what the person you're getting for is like, but I'm going to do a break of two categories. Everyday cologne slash an office cologne. So they're like go hand in hand and um, going out slash party cologne. So for the everyday cologne, I recommend Blue Day Chanel. Everyone knows this. It's a mass appealing cologne. Everyone, everyone, it's like the public accepts this cologne, you know? And for party cologne, I recommend Pocket Rabone. You can get the original, the golden bar, or you can get the silver one, which I recommend the silver one because I think everyone, it's, the golden bar is one of the most popular ones. So the silver bar is more, a bit more uniqueness to it. Um, it's called Pocket Rabone Lucky. It just has a bit of a more Swedish smell to it. And I think both of these colognes last very long as well. So you can get, you can't go wrong with either of these two. If you guys, I'm, I'm actually um, pretty into colognes as well. So if you guys wanted me to drop a whole cologne video, in my opinion, um, like different occasion colognes or different seasonal colognes, let me know. Next category we have is hobbies. So for hobbies, I really just like thought about the most popular hobbies, reading, um, drinking, outdoor activities, and video games so those are the top four most popular hobbies right so i'm just going to give you guys an example of what to get within each of these hobbies so for reading i recommend a kindle paperweight it's just like i don't know i'm not a huge fan of kindles but i guess you know better than me if the person you're giving a gift for is a is a fan of electric tablet readers or not um i just like flipping physical pages they like flipping physical pages right i recommend getting them like a collection of books that they like like if they like self-help books give them 10 self-help books if they like the stephen king collection like my friend does give them a collection of stephen king books uh next up is drinking i think uh they're above 21 right and they really enjoy drinking they don't just get they don't just drink to get hammered and whatnot they actually enjoy the taste of alcohol give them a really good gift set you can go into myers or your local convenience store and they usually have like like a liquor and then two glass bottles i don't know if my friend he collects no he not he doesn't collect but he, he will get himself a gift set every year so of his birthday so like right now i think it's year three so he has three different bottles and like three different glasses as well i think that's really unique and nice they just have around like even if they finish the drink itself they will always keep the cups around and it's a really good conversation starter for them like if they have it at their bar at their house and someone comes oh that's a cool glass We're like oh yeah i guess J jennifer got me this glass um for my birthday a few years ago you know so that's a really good like if you want your name in their mouth for a while i think that's a really good gift idea another idea for drinking is buy any like high-end liquor that they're into like i'm personally into whiskey and bourbon so if i'm into whiskey and bourbon right and if someone's trying to give me a gift, just go on TikTok or go on YouTube and search up top whiskey or bourbon for under, and put in your budget for under $100, right? And just go with that. Personally, if you're not so much into alcohol and you don't have knowledge like that, that's what I would do. Um, next up, outdoor activities. Um, there's a huge wide range of outdoor activities, but my, when I'm thinking about this, I'm thinking about hiking, traveling, and camping. And for this, I will give them an insulated mug, like a good quality insulated mug. I would go with the Yeti. Um, I know some of these mugs, I'm not, I'm not sure if you can customize a Yeti, but I know um, like Hydro Flags, you can customize it, put the person's name on it or like a phrase that, that means something to them. Everyone likes the insulated mug. Some dudes like would cheap out and get the off-brand version, but every dude would like a Yeti. Give, give them a Yeti or give them a few Yetis. You can't go wrong with more cups, guys. Next up, video games. So for the video games, honestly, you can give them anything that they use for gaming, like monitor, keyboard, mouse, or mouse pad, or games in general, right? But for, in my opinion, I think giving them a nice keyboard 
is the way to go and i'm not really into gaming myself but i did a bit of research and i think the best one in best overall keyboard right now is the razor black widow i think it's called just do a quick search on what top keyboards there are out there but give them a good quality keyboard that will last them a few years to come every time they go to game they click away the keyboards they'll be thinking about you They're like thank god josh gave me that gift you know next up personal care every man needs to be stay on their top game well groomed um well clean right so for personal care i recommend an electric toothbrush and for electric toothbrush i recommend the philips sonic care diamond clean I, they have a bundle of two at costco for 180 so you can even just give them a gift and keep one for yourself especially if you're like if, if you're giving a gift for your boyfriend or significant other you give them a gift and you keep one for yourself it's like a matching pair it's like a cute thing you know but no for 180 for two you, you can't beat it because go to costco if you don't have a costco membership what are we doing nowadays like get a costco membership i have both costco and sam's i don't really use the sam's one that much that one is my parents membership but i do have a costco membership i think costco is a phenomenal place for holiday shopping and gift shopping in general next up dyson hair dryer i know i know who in their right mind would spend 350 dollars or 400 dollars on a hair dryer right nobody like no dudes in the right mind would spend 350 dollars on a hair dryer unless they're really into hair it's a really good gift idea because they would never buy it themselves right so i think another factor that makes something a really nice gift is giving them something that they won't buy themselves no my soul i can attest to the quality of this my sister has this dyson hair dryer for around whenever it came out so like five years ago so she uses it every day so if you factor in the cost per usage it's actually not that expensive if you think about it so because she uses it every day right 365 days a year five years now so it costs maybe a, like a not even a, a few cents a day to use so these are that's like investing in something that's good quality that will last you a lifetime i'm not saying the dyson would last you a lifetime but their hair dryers are actually really nice quality next up grooming care make sure your son boyfriend stays groomed I'll recommend the Manscaped Lawnmower 5.0. I have the long, I have the Lawnmower 2.0 for areas that we don't need to discuss, and then I have um, a Sonic Care Philips Sonic Care thing from Costco uh, to shave. But yeah, I think giving them a nice grooming set is a really, really good gift. So that about wraps it up. Um, hopefully, these gifts really helped you guys, steer you guys in a direction, or give you guys some ideas about what to give to him right yeah so the holidays is all about giving and cherishing the ones that you love giving them good quality gifts i think you can roll the dice with any items on this list and you can't go wrong with it and you'll enjoy it. i gotta clarify though i feel like these items really only really apply to people ages from 18 to like 32 maybe people outside of the age bracket will also enjoy these gifts but i'm saying these gifts i just really tailor them from ages 18 to 32 Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I wish you get everyone a happy holiday. And if you guys like this similar content like this, let me know. I'll, I can make it a 2.0 version or like a version in, in a different age bracket. Happy safe holidays to everyone watching this video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.